What's going on YouTube? It is Dom, AKA KT2, and I'm coming back at you guys again for another video. So today, I just wanna talk about the army is getting bigger or is trying to get bigger, right? If you don't know, the army was trying to increase like the force size to around 483,000, about 500, right? So about, we'll just round it off to 483,000, right? And I think we stayed constant at about 476,000. Which is, which is interesting, considering that we gave recruiters, I think the incentive was like $1,500 extra a month, which is, which is phenomenal, which is crazy. I wish I got $1,500 extra dollars a month to do my job. But I just think it, it was wild how we stayed really consistent with those numbers. But then again, uh, we're losing medical jobs. So the whole military in general is trying to cut medical jobs, trying to cut, I think, 17,000 medical jobs. Right, I can link the medical job um, article in the description. The one on the forces is on armytimes.com. So I was just reading these articles and I'm going through them and I'm like, wow, we're gonna cut um, 17,000 medical jobs, right? And then we're trying to cut it down to, I think it's like 5,300 in the army. I'm like, just 5,300 alone in the army? Like, that's one of the like the, the benefits um, to, to the military, right? Is, is having medical jobs, right? Getting experience in the medical field. And I know that's, a lot of, that's what a lot of people do, but they are looking to upsize different MOSs. And I think it's so funny how they, I think they, they, wanna, they wanna cut down medical jobs, but we are, I think it's like we were trying to expand medical jobs at one point. Even OCS added um, Medical Services Corps as a branch that we could branch into instead of just being all the other 16. I think we've got 17 branches now. And I just think it's, it's phenomenal. I just think it's wild that we can do that. Um, and these medical job cuts are supposed to hit fiscal year 2021. I mean, it's not in, it's not in, it's not permanent yet, you know, but it's just something to think about. And then the army just wants to increase the size. And I don't know, man, like I know right now, like I have a torn meniscus and I have to wait three weeks, three, three or four weeks to even get an MRI. I'm like, so if they cut more medical staff, what does that mean? You know, does that mean I'm going to have to wait like two or three months to get an MRI? And then what about surgery? You know, I just think it's 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 interesting. Um, all this stuff you gotta you gotta go through right now, and then they want to cut medical jobs. Not that I get injured or get on profile a lot. This will be I think I'm probably about to get on my first profile, and this will be my second surgery ever in my life. Um, well, third surgery, not counting second surgery, not counting my wisdom teeth, right? And I think it's just interesting what we're leaning more towards. Uh, and what we're going towards, you know, um, 5,300 medical jobs is crazy. Like what happens if like a war breaks out or something? What happens if we, if we can't do something like we can't support it medically, but we'll have more, we'll have a, uh, an upsize of other types of troops, but we're lowering on medical staff. So I guess something's going on, but I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about and reading through, um, and I wouldn't get anybody else's opinion on it. Uh, we are increasing, so we're looking for a bigger army, but we're losing medical jobs. Increasing the army, but losing medical jobs. Maybe that's what I'll, I'll title it. Either way, anybody have an opinion on it? Um, just wanna drop this video up, and then probably tomorrow, I'll drop the 68 Charlie interview that I did to kind of caveat off this. I think, I think medical professionals are highly valued in the military, and I know they make some of the greatest contributions, but with them cutting them down so much, I just think it's, it that's that's gonna put a lot of people's jobs at risk, and um, I don't know. I like being able to get wisdom, wisdom teeth surgery, get my wisdom teeth pulled. Um, I like that, it was really quick. I think it was like a couple days. Like, I really enjoyed that. Uh, and maybe that's why they're doing it, because it happened so quick. And there were just too many available doctors. I actually don't even think it was a week. I think it was like, um, I think it was, I think it was like less than a week. Um, so 
Either way, that's just my opinion. Anybody else have any opinions? Uh, you guys can, uh, I guess, drop a comment for your opinion. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys hit me up on uh, Snapchat at Klop95, K-L-O-P-95, and then Instagram at K-I-D-T-H-N-D-R-2. And like I always like to say at the end of all my videos, don't live the same year, 75, 80, 85, 90 times, and then try and call to life. My name is Dom, a.k.a. KT2, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.